Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video from Planet Codebot. Today I wanted to quickly share some exciting news about one of our LEGO MOCs, Rex. Rex was designed for a LEGO Ideas competition, but it attracted a huge amount of attention for this small channel. In the six months that the video has been online, it's been viewed over 30,000 times, which is simply incredible. During that time, I received lots of messages from viewers who wanted to build Rex, but I didn't have any instructions to share. Planet Codebot exists to help spread passion and excitement about anything and everything robotics, coding, and generally techie. So I decided that if instructions didn't exist, I'd have to go ahead and make some. So in this video, I wanted to share the final design of Rex. Rex has been created using Bricklink Studio 2.0, and it's been designed piece by piece using the original design and a bit of video footage I had left lying around. Now, Rex is built exclusively using the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor Kit, and it features roughly 450 pieces. This digital model, which can be viewed using Bricklink Studio 2.0, has been meticulously assembled to ensure that not a single piece is missing. If I zoom into some specific parts, you can get a bit of a better look at how Rex is really built. Let's have a little look at some of the finer details of the Rex build. If we zoom into the head, you can see all of the tiny little details that go together to make this dinosaur look complete. I really love this part of the build because there's so many little touches that you just don't see when you're looking at the original videos. Rex's jaw opens and closes and it's controlled by this single motor which is hidden just behind the neck. The jaw is only held on this one side so we've had to use a pin and a little bit of decoration to hide this fact on the other side. However, in practice, it really does work quite well. If we have a look at the body of Rex, you may just be able to see that the intelligent hub or the smart brick is held in here. Now, this model does not have the uh, wiring attached to it for the simple reason that you cannot get it in the program itself, or at least I couldn't find it. So you will have to add those in as well. Instructions are included in the uh, build videos on Planet Codebot. Now, Rex's tiny little arms, which you can see here, are actually built on a um, hinge, which means that they do actually twist. Now, I'd have to select all of these parts to be able to make the move in the model itself. However, his arms do tuck away if you prefer that look for storage. Rex's two legs are pretty much identical. However, they're just mirrored for the left and the right hand side. Now, these legs are actually adapted from the GLO model, which is one of the original models um, in the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor Kit. However, I had to adapt them a little bit to make them work for this Tyrannosaurus Rex design. So the angle that the legs sit at has changed. It's a lot more um, vertical. And I've also extended the legs and made them much longer. As a part of this process, I did want to make the legs look a little bit stronger because before I did this, Rex did look a bit like a chicken. So I've added these sections here just to add a little bit of weight to Rex's legs and make them look a bit more powerful. As this build was purely made from the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor Kit, I have had to be creative with certain elements to try and hide the um, wires and the uh, motors, but also just to add a little bit of character and flesh out the body a little bit. So we've got some artistic touches on the top. You may like them, you may not. This panel here actually lifts up completely, which will allow you to see uh, or gain better access to the inside of the robot itself. So as you can see, that panel lifts up and can also close. The wonderful thing about Bricklink 2.0 is that you can also modify all of these parts. You can take pieces off, you can reattach them. It's a very, very easy process, as you can see. Okay, so moving along to the back now on the final motor, buried underneath the tail, we have got one more motor on Rex. This allows the tail to swing backwards and forwards. You can just about see it here. Now, getting the tail to move and um, be flexible and look good was quite a challenge. There wasn't many pieces left by the time I got to this section, so we had to make do with what we had. Now, an important part about the tail is also that it allows Rex to actually balance. 
Rex does stand up completely by himself. If built properly, it will not need any support to stand up. So this tail is an important part of the build itself. Now, if you have a LEGO Mindstorms robot inventor kit at home and you fancy building Rex, you are in luck. These instructions, which took approximately 10 to 15 hours to build, are being given away completely for free. Planet Cobot is all about making steam and technology accessible. We do not charge for any of the creations that we make. Okay, so if you'd like to download the 3D model and the build instructions for Rex, the easiest way to do so is at planetcodebot.com. If you click on the resources section of the website, you can see all of the different resources that we have created. By clicking on the resource, how to build your own robotic T-Rex, you will find information, videos, pictures, links, and most importantly, the Google Drive folder, which contains all of the files for this build. In the folder, you will find the files for the BrickLink Studio app, which is free to download. And you will also find a PDF with step-by-step -step instructions to create the model. These instructions are being updated constantly, so if there are any improvements that you can find or any parts that you find difficult, please leave a message on YouTube and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. All of our resources on Planet Codebot are completely free with no payments, no extra links and no signing up. All we want to do is help to inspire people to get into steam and technology. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps to spread the name and word of Planet Codebot. And if you decide to have a go at building Rex and downloading the instructions, please share your finished pieces with us on Twitter at PlanetCodeBot. Thanks for watching.